guys in this video we'll learn about html5 drag and drop feature so on the screen you can see we are having a demo on draggable events so what you can do here is that you will grab an object you are grabbing an image and you will drag it from one box to another so you are dragging it to a different location altogether so it is it follows a certain life cycle of events that you have to implement uh, for this to function properly so one thing you need to understand is uh, we are having around three to four events that we need to define on these images or objects that we are dragging and dropping from one location to another there are many events that we can use and they occur in different stages of a drag and drop operation so there are some events that fire on the draggable target like on drag start on drag on drag end events that are fired on the drop target on drag enter on drag over on drag leave and on drop so we will be implementing these events to demonstrate the draggable event okay so it is the most common feature that you will see in modern web applications where like you must have seen uh, the trello board okay in the trello board what it happens is like whenever a task that is assigned to a certain developer is done he can uh, he can drag that particular task from pending to completion or from completion to pending from just uh, by just performing a drag event on that particular task and dragging it from one location to another so the applications are endless for draggable event as well so to understand one more thing you need to understand is that the browser support for this is available mostly for chrome and firefox uh, it does support some browsers uh, like internet explorer as well but not all versions are compatible with uh, for draggable event okay so another thing you need to understand is whatever object you want to uh, whatever object on which you want to perform the draggable event you need to define the draggable global attribute on it and set a true value for it okay so proceeding further we will be implementing the drag and drop demo on this where i'm having an image i need to drag it from one location to another so you can assume uh, this to be a, a Trello board when I'm dragging one task from pending to completion like so. Okay. So let us start with the implementation. So to understand it more thoroughly, the implementation will speak for itself. Okay. So let us start with the code. I'm here in my code editor. So an HTML is defined for this drag and drop demo. You can find the link for this file down below the video so also i have attached some css for this where i'm using an angular.png file on which we will be performing the drag and drop event okay so let us start with the coding this is the image that we will be performing drag and drop you can definitely adjust it according to your needs i just wanted to show how we can perform this rather than writing those uh, silly selectors and all so it's not the requirement of css we are mainly focusing on the javascript part the logic part behind the drag and drop event so you can find the code for html css down below the video okay so let us start with the implementation so i'm back in my code editor and now let us start with the code so we write window dot add event listener and we are listening for the dom content loaded event and let us define a init method that gets triggered once the dom content is loaded so we say function init and i will say console log init inside the init And I will define a method bind events in which I will be defining all the bindings on my uh, boxes that we are defined. These local boxes that we have defined will attach some events on it, which will help us perform the drag and drop feature. Okay, so let us see how we will do that. So first step is the very first thing we need to do is we need to 
set the references okay so first step is const image box simply select the image box from the HTML DOM we will simply select them and then we will perform operations on it document dot query selector and I will say dot image box then let us select the white boxes array I will say document dot get elements by class name because we are having multiple elements and we want to pick those multiple elements by their respective class which is the white box class and this will return us an HTML collection to show this let us log the white box white boxes and let us check our console so as you can see we are getting an HTML collection in which we are having four divs okay so we are having four divs as you can see so this is an HTML collection of the elements that we selected using the get elements by class name selector so let us do the binding of events on these uh, boxes that we have selected so I will say on the image box we will first add a event listener image box dot add event listener this image box is what this is basically our image this angular image is basically the image box okay on this we need to perform the drag start event this will this is the very initial phase of the drag and drop life cycle so what we need to do is we need to define or listen an event called drag start on the image box so when we listen the event i need to trigger a function called on drag start okay and i will also listen for an event at the end when the drag is done okay and that event is known as drag end and i will uh, trigger another function on this which is on drag end okay so let us define these functions first before proceeding further so on drag enter so the on drag start event const on drag start event and I will say console.log drag start event drag start event got fired okay and then I will be using certain classes like the whole class the image box class the whole class is when you are holding the element in the say in midair when we are dragging it from one location to another during some instant of time it will be there uh, from the, uh, between the starting and the end location for that I have defined a whole class which you can see here uh, where the border will be solid uh, red and four pixels okay so let us define the code further when the drag event has started to happen okay and the object is in mid -air, you can assume that we have shifted it from its start position but it hasn't reached the end position so even dot target dot class name and we will simply append the whole class on whatever class we are currently having okay and once this is done once this drag start is done simply set a timer and we will say event dot target dot class name is set to hide why I'm doing this the reason behind this is that once the object has been dragged from one location to another at the very first location it will remain there if we do not add this class hide okay so just add the class hide and it will disappear from there and it, the new and it will appear at the very new location to which it was dragged okay so let us do the another handler which is the on drag event on drag end event and I will simply say event just log to the console 
console.log the drag and event got fired and here we will simply add the image box class why because the location to which it is dragged we want it should have the class image box only then the image will appear at that very location or in that very box in that very white box it will appear only when that white box has the class of image box okay and the angular image will appear there so i hope this is very much crystal clear to you guys so event dot target dot class name just add this class which is image box so moving further what we now need to define is the life cycle between this drag start event and the on drag end event okay so there are another phases as well in between them like on drag over on drag enter on drag weave we also need to define these events as well okay so let us start with these as well what i will do is i will select the complete html collection and i will define these events on those boxes okay those white boxes so this is an html collection to iterate over those html collection we will need to use a for of loop so for white box of white boxes i will say white box dot add event listener i will say drag over event and we'll say on drag over so once the drag is over we'll listen for this drag over event and white box dot add event listener drag start on drag start white box dot add event listener drag end on drag end oh sorry not drag start here we will define the drag enter event okay so so the drag is now entering this is the phase between the the tool uh the two events we defined earlier that is a drag start drag end these events will occur uh, intermediate to those two events so drag enter and drag leave drag leave on drag leave and finally white box dot add event listener the drop event and then i will say on drop handler so at each of these events drag over drag enter drag leave drag or uh, drop we will define the function handlers that will get triggered once these events occur okay so let us define the code for that as well uh, then we will see the live demo working so let us define the on drag over method const on drag over i will say event and i will prevent the default behavior and log the drag event got fired okay will not be working with this event but we need to know when it gets invoked that is the main thing to understand okay so let us define the on drag enter event this is a very important event to see so this will also take the event object and we'll say console.log drag enter event got fired and this be drag over event got fired so drag enter event got fired and then we'll simply say event dot target dot class name plus equal to dashed so dashed is a class 
where which will add the dashed border around the element that we are dragging from one location to another okay so we need to add this class to the target the target of this event which is getting dragged okay so that will have these uh, borders which are dashed okay with some spaces and dashed you might be able to recognize from css like we had dashed borders okay so that uh, this class will help us in adding this uh, border so you can see border style is dashed okay so let us see what more is to be done in this next is uh, we need to implement the on drag leave event on drag leave event object console.log the drag leave event got fired and we will say event dot target dot class name and white box so what does this mean in the odd drag leave event you need to understand when the object is being dragged from one location to another okay the target is the one from which it is getting moved okay so that should remain white box and to and to the box to which it gets dragged that will have the image box class so that um, image appears at the end location and the location from which it was dragged will now appear as a white box okay so this must be very much crystal clear now so finally we have one more handler to define which is the on drop event i will say event and i will say arrow what is happening then we will say console.log drop event got fired and we will say event dot target dot append the image box so at the target we now need to append this image box okay so whatever is the location to which the image is getting dragged or not dragged we can say now it is dropped okay since this event will be done when the image is dropped at the end location at the target location and at the target we need to append the image box so that the image appears at the very location to which it was destined to go okay so now what we need to do is so i think our code is now complete let us see this in action whether it works correctly or not so i'm back in my code editor as you can see i'm performing these events the drag start event got fired uh, it got fired drag over event got fired drag leave event got fired and see we got the event drag event got fired and drag end event got fired okay drop event also got fired once it was dropped so similarly you can drop it from here and there and these events will keep on firing so this is the entire life cycle of the draggable event so i hope you like the video guys in case you like the video do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you are loving the content i will be coming up with more quality videos uh, in this week so thanks a lot guys